Hello, my dear children. Today I want to draw your attention to another feature of DNA and explain to you why it consists of two strands that form a spiral. Such a plexus of threads indicates that the soul can be embodied in the physical body only by combining male and female principles. This is what the yin-yang symbol so common on earth reflects, but few people associate it with the structure of your DNA. That is why at the dawn of mankind's existence, the union between a man and a woman was considered sacred, because thanks to his chastity and purity, divine souls came to earth from the high plane of existence. And that's why now the agonizing race of Dracoreptili, through its proxies in power, is trying to distort everything related to masculine and female nature. They managed not only to devalue the spiritual relationship between a man and a woman and the sacrament of physical intimacy, reducing them to the level of animal random copulation and even the subject of purchase and sale, but also to create truly ugly and sexless creatures. And what has been happening in many so-called developed countries in recent years is no longer just Sodom and Gomorrah, but a real satanic Sabbath that your planet has never seen before. So what does all this have to do with human DNA? The most direct, since any manipulations related to sex change, artificial insemination, cloning and other newfangled technologies that are now taking on a mass character in your society prevent the activation of additional DNA spirals. And since man is a multi-level creature and everything that happens to him on the physical plane is formed first in his subtle bodies, taking such perversions for granted, even without physical participation in them, also blocks the activation of such a person's DNA. And this is well aware of those who impose such gender experiments on humanity, making them not only in fashion, but even legitimizing them at the state level. This is largely due to the creation of such a large number of biorobots and clones on Earth, because they are the ones who can accept such godless rules of the game. Pure human souls will never do it. It is they who are now resisting the satanic clique, which is trying to stay afloat by depriving man of his divine nature. That's what we'll stop there today. The Father Absolute who loves you immeasurably spoke to you.